Greetings, dear ones, I am. I am. Crying of magnetic servants. And there would be some who would say, what is the purpose of this? Why would you have a human sitting in a chair doing a situation where they, they give away part of their three-dimensional reality so they can connect with the other side? Why would they do such a thing? It's all about history, you know? Let me tell you that in just a moment. There are others who say this cannot be happening. I have said this over and over. It is not right, they say. There's a man here pretending, they say. And yet I say again this to you, that the energy in this room shifts. And those who are with you and have been with you all day long can touch you when you allow them to. For there's an energy here which you are not counting on. It's a combination of those who are with you, yourself, and the very land that you stand on, all combining to celebrate your existence, that you would give intent to sit in a chair and learn more about the energy that you sit in, about the earth and the changes upon it. There are those who also say, well, this is not correct, you know. You can't just show up and get a message from the other side of the veil. There's got to be history behind it. There has to be something special behind it. Our ancestors were able to do that. They wrote it down. These are the books you should be looking at, not something current like a man who sits in a chair. Let me ask you this. Kahuna stands before you and chants the history of the civilization of the island. Is that appropriate? Or not? For I'll tell you there's little difference. For he or she opens a portal. And in that portal, the song begins. And some of them are the songs of Lemuria. There are those in this room who sing the songs of Lemuria and they can do it because they are their own ancestors. They can do it because they remember the energy of the land. And so I say to you sitting here, what is it that brings you here? Do you have a residence that you live in? When you leave this place, do you go home on the island? And if you do, I'll ask you, what is it that brought you here? Was it the trees, the water, the weather? Uh -uh. Most of you are familiar with an, with an attribute of Hawaii. And here's the attribute that if the islands don't like you, they'll spit you out. Mm. You know I'm right, don't you? And here you are. Could it be that you belong here? Could it be that your inner self, <laughs> the DNA itself, resounds with something that started here with you? Could it be that you're home? And maybe only for a little while. Maybe only for enhancement of what you need and what you want and then you'll move on and maybe for the rest of your life but there is no question where you are no question at all channeling is something that has been done from the beginning of mankind it is not new it is not a cult it is not odd it is not weird every scripture you've ever read been given by God, it's been given by men. And they have been under the influence of what you see here. This spiritual purity that began here. This is where it was learned. 
is where it was developed. Oh, it was its infancy. For the Lemurians were in a quantum state. They had the DNA to prove it. They knew of things because of this quantumness. They knew how the earth worked. They knew of the cosmos. They knew of the energy of numbers. They knew about their own health and cellular structure. All of these things started here. The very idea of a human who would sit with other humans before them giving information from spirit started here. And I'll tell you, it continues to this day here. in the room who are able to do it and continue it who have the pure Lemurian ancestry important it is do not let the purity go away there are fewer and fewer Hawaiians fewer and fewer true Lemurians do not let the purity go away let there always be some so we will never forget who our ancestors are, your part in it. It's in the Akash, you know. I'm gonna speak of that later today. A little more about what's really happening, a little more about perhaps what you have not considered when you think of eight. You will see. And so it is, you're here for a moment. And yet you are here for the entire history of the planet. I was here when this was created and so were you. Before you ever lived upon it and so were you. When you entered here, I watched you come. I watched the process. I saw the shifts. And now here you sit in a time that was only simply on someone's page of the future back then doing things that civilization was never thought possible of doing a special time it is where you will combine with the energy of Gaia soon in an energy that has never been measured yet on this planet new territory but then you knew that didn't you and that's why you're here so it is.